Hello. I'm here to demonstrate the world's first ultrasonic scanner implemented in a standard Windows mobile cell phone. I have two devices here today that I will show you. The first is a Toshiba G900. This is a relatively old model uh, phone, but it is still uh, available both new and secondhand. What we have here is the phone, which I'll, I'll zoom in here a little bit uh, later. We also have a, an Amoy phone uh, that's, as you can see, uh, quite small. It's a very inexpensive phone. The discriminating feature of both of these is that they have a USB host mode, or USB on the go, which allows the USB port in the phone to be used not only as a client where you can sync to your PC, but also as a host for devices such as mice and keyboards. What we have here is a uh, standard USB ultrasound probe. These are available commercially and have been for several years. FDA approved and CE marking approved. What we can do is take the device with a USB uh, cable and I'll plug it into this phone. And then I will go to where my application is. And I will run our ultrasonic scanner application, which is a Windows mobile program. I'll let this load. So here's the, here's the application running on the phone. As I turn the probe on, the probe is now running. You see that the image has changed. And now I'm scanning just a tissue mimicking phantom here. And I know the image isn't too great at the moment. I'll zoom in in a moment. I can start and stop the probe by pressing a button that's on the probe. Now you see the image is frozen. We can actually, on this phone, slide out the keyboard. You can see we can turn it sideways now. And we have some features on this phone. Once it's in sideways mode, I'm going to give us a little bit of contrast here, so it'll be a little bit easier for us to see the image. So he has full uh, scanner control, just like we would on a laptop or desktop PC. Again, these probes are used in diagnostic systems that have been available for a few years. Um, we can adjust gain and imaging controls, uh, lookup table controls on the scanner for display. So let's, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You see right down the middle of the screen are a row of pins. The uh, flash on the, the right side of the screen is actually some air in our phantom. It's a relatively old phantom. I move over a little bit. You'll see near the top of the screen, kind of a cyst dot. Uh, the upper left hand side. So we have it's a tissue mimicking phantom, and they're trying to mimic some cyst materials in foreign bodies. You can also see us below that the row of three pins. Other devices. But this is all all the scanning here is taking place. Uh, with just a simple probe connected directly to the phone. I'm going to load a file that's been previously saved. You can save uh, Cine data. So this image right in here, I am looking at my uh, previously recorded, looking at my carotid artery. You can see the bifurcation as I move up the neck. And as I move back down, you can see the, the artery as it uh, becomes one again at the connection point. So we have the ability to save and display after the fact images. We have full gain control and image control uh, with this system. Okay. We also have, as I mentioned, uh, this other phone. Uh, again, we can run the application. This is now actually a smartphone. This doesn't even have a touch screen. This is just a simple smartphone. 
So I'm going to press OK and insert my probe. So I will do that. And again, there is the image. This has all the same controls. It has to be redone a little bit because of the interface. Again, no touch screen. You get it scanning here. So again, it's scanning. Let's see if I can find those. Again, you can sort of see there's that row of pins right down the middle. Obviously, this is a much smaller screen, uh, so it's much harder uh, for me to give you a good image of it with this video camera. Uh, but I think you can see that we are imaging live with nothing more than the probe plugged into the phone. I'll put the phone over here. It's got this big long cable so we could be imaging a patient. Um, and there you, there you have the complete system. We have a probe. No external power source, external data processing needed. Of course, being a cell phone, it also has a network built in uh, to the 3G network that you may be on. You could send data to any, the, the saved image data to anyone around the world, uh, uploading it to websites, uh, emailing it to people, uh, or dedicated applications that could be run with backend databases. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the world's first cell phone based ultrasonic scanner. Uh, we hope that this technology matures and that you can find one in your doctor's pocket soon. Thank you.